Hi, my name is Maurice Menegachi Higo and I'm a postdoc at Kavrak Lab. I'm going to present a work entitled Implementation of a Web Server for Ensemble Docking with SARS CoV 2 Proteins. We are living in a pandemic caused by SARS CoV 2 virus and efforts are being made to develop a vaccine and identify active medications. Most of these efforts rely on computational studies targeting one or more proteins of SARS CoV 2. The main protease is one of these proteins. Most studies, however, do not consider the flexibility of the main protease. One way to approach this is using an ensemble of pre-computed conformations. Here, we present a web server for drug screening based on molecular docking and ensembles of protein conformations. The first part of this project was to generate ensembles. For that, we recovered 158 SARS-CoV-2 structures from Protein Data Bank and 100,000 conformations from two microseconds of molecular dynamics using CHARM36 and Gromus 53A6 force field. The use of different force fields allows us to sample different states of the protein. We performed dimensionality reduction using principal components and k-means clustering algorithm to identify representative members of each cluster. The graphs on the bottom left box shows, in gray, the distribution of all conformations obtained. The red dots represent a diverse set of low energy conformations included in our ensemble. We created three ensembles that we will hereafter refer as Crystal, Charm and Gromus. The image on the right box shows the comparison of conformations based on root mean square deviation values for the binding site residues. The variation among PDB structures is low, but when compared to Charm and Gromus ensemble, the variation is higher, indicating the variability between different structures, which accounts for the inherent flexibility of the protease. These ensembles were used to create a molecular docking algorithm based on DINK, a docking incremental tool developed by our lab. Our approach, which we call DINCOVID, uses parallel threads to execute the independent sampling of the ligand with autodoc vena. Then, output conformations are ranked using different scoring functions. The best binding modes for each scoring function are chosen and the resulting complexes are returned. We selected 36 protease inhibitors from literature and our tool was able to reproduce its position in the context of our ensembles with a mean RMSD of 1.4 angstroms. Also, our approach explores a range of receptor conformations within the top scoring binding modes, as we can see in the heat maps. DINCOVID was implemented as a web server, offering a ready-to-use solution for researchers to test their own compounds against the main protease. Also, it accounts for the receptor's conformation flexibility without the burden of running molecular dynamic simulations. DINCOVID is available at dink-covid.kavraklab.org. Thank you.